open your Bibles to Matthew chapter 12. We'll read from there in a minute. Words. As human be beings, if we talk at all, we use words, don't we? This upcoming passage that we're going to read in a second has me puzzled a little bit. Maybe it's puzzled you before, too. Matthew chapter 12, starting in verse 36. Matthew chapter 12, starting in verse 36. But I say to you that for every idle word men may speak, they will give account of, of it in the day of judgment. For by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. I'm pretty sure that I've used quite a few careless words probably every day. Don't you? Maybe an offhanded remark to your spouse or child. Perhaps an off-the-cuff comment to a coworker. Some of our words are carefully thought out, while many, probably most, aren't. What does Jesus mean here? Did, did he intend to imply that our innocent small talk is wrong? Like when we're talking about the rain yesterday or next week's ball game? I don't think that's what he meant. It helps to read what the Lord said just before this passage. Let's start again in verse 33, Matthew chapter 12. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree bad and its fruit bad. For a tree is known by its fruit. Brood of vipers, how can you being evil speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure brings forth evil things. Jesus is saying here that our words matter because they reflect what's in our heart. Good people say good things, while bad hearts produce evil speech. There's an important implication here. We learn more about our hearts from what we say without thinking than we do by looking at our carefully rehearsed speech. This means that you'd, you'd learn more about who I really am by hearing how I speak to people conversationally than you do by listening to this invitation. My normal conversation more likely reflects the, reflects the real me. What about you? Are your words too critical? Do they build up or tear down? Are they positive or negative? Our words matter, but mostly because they say something about our hearts. We don't really fix our speech by learning to speak more nicely and be more honest. Our speech gets fixed when our hearts grow closer to God. So we need to work on our hearts by spending time with the Lord, loving Him more, praising Him more, wanting to please Him more, studying His Word more. What Jesus, Jesus should have, should, sorry, what Jesus said should cause us to think before we speak but it should especially cause us to ask God to help us align our hearts with his will. Our hearts are where the words, good or bad, come from. If, you, if your heart is not right with God tonight, if your words are not right with God, you need to make a change in your life. If you've obeyed the gospel already, then you can do that by praying for forgiveness, and God will forgive you if you repent. If you've never obeyed the gospel, then you need to follow his plan of salvation to be, become a child of God by hearing, believing, repenting of your sins, confessing before men, and then being baptized in water behind us for the remission of your sins. If you have any need tonight, come forward now as we stand and sing the song, Finish Selected. <laughs> 